Hola, hola, my name is Ramon, cosmetic chemist, esthetician, lover of a sunscreen. And today we're talking about a brand new, 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 new launch from Garnier Ombre Solaire. It's their new Super UV Niacinamide Anti-Imperfections Daily Fluid SPF 50 Plus. Backstory on this, I was at a Boots in London in Greenwich randomly, and I was like, let me look at the sunscreen section. And I saw a bunch of brand new sunscreen launches. This was one of them. And it's so new, I can't actually find any information about it online. So you're getting like the inside inside scoop but we love seeing a really good drugstore affordable sunscreen especially one marketed towards oily acne prone skin so let's get into it looking at the marketing of this again it's so brand new it's not even on the brand website i have to read it off the box this is a sunscreen developed for the face area with a very high spf 50 plus broad spectrum protection against uvb uva and long uva this formula mattifies and reduces the appearance of imperfections clinically proven in two months they specified that was done on a study of 34 women in 56 days. And they show that it reduces the look of imperfections by 66%, blackheads by 55%, and whiteheads. And it reduces residual acne marks, don't know what that means, by 32%, and pore visibility by 34%. So a lot of results there. They say it's an ultralight fluid with no white marks, non-greasy and non-sticky, invisible finish, suitable as a makeup base. It is not water or sweat resistant. I double, triple, and quadruple checked. <laughs> Watch it be, and I just missed it. And this was only 14 pound for 40 mil, so decently affordable. How I do my sunscreen reviews is obviously I weigh and measure how much sunscreen I need to be using for my face size and shape. If you wanna know how much sunscreen you should be wearing, I'll have a card linked up here. I apply it to my face, let it set, that way you can see what the finish looks like. Let's get into the review part of the video by starting with the feel and finish of the sunscreen. This is a very lightweight, milky texture. It's very watery, actually. It's very very runny, which for some people is a pro, some people's a con. My husband hates how runny this one is specifically. So it is very, very lightweight. It melts into the skin really quick, really easy. It is literally just like applying a thick water. And when you let it set, it actually has a very natural finish to it. Love that. And it works in very easily. You don't need to like work too hard. It sets on very easily, very, very quick. And the best way I can explain it is because it is for oily acne prone skin and they want it to be very lightweight, it forms a film very quickly. And you can kind of feel that film on your face, which I I actually prefer. It makes me know the sunscreen's there doing its job. But it feels super elegant. It is super lightweight. It's not greasy at all. You can see in the footage, it's not even really shiny at all. So feel lightweight, finish, natural to satin matte. Getting onto the filters and formulation part of this. For filters, it is a European sunscreen. It has octasalate, Uvenil T150, Tinosorb S, Avil Benzone, Mixoral XL, Mixoral SX. Those are L'Oreal patented filters. Garnier is a L'Oreal brand. So you're getting that broad spectrum SPF 50 plus protection. This has a three star boots rating. So just note that. But they do specify it has UVA and long UVA protection. Because it has that long UVA in there, I expected to see the Mixoral 400 filter in there. It's not. So that's very interesting to note. But yeah, overall, really good broad spectrum protection. Getting on to the formulation part of this. This is a sunscreen basically designated for oily acne prone skin. Niacinamide is very clear in the marketing. It also has salicylic acid and zinc PCA, which are great ingredients for oily blemish prone skin. It also has another ingredient here called sarcosine. A lot of the marketing from manufacturers that supply sarcosine basically say it's an ingredient that helps to regulate sebum, AKA it helps to control the look of shine and oiliness throughout the day. So all those things together combined in a formula like this, it's intended for oily skin. I find that this keeps me fairly shine free for a good few hours. I do have to blot, but that's anything that claims to mattify, I will always have to blot or powder. But if you apply this and then reapply consistently throughout the day, like you will stay very nicely natural looking if you are very oily. Like I do not get very shiny at all. This does have alcohol, but it is fragrance free. So do note that. And then other formulation points, it has vitamin E and aloe juice. So I think it's just a really light milky texture. I don't think it's incredibly hydrating, but because it sets so quick, it keeps you fairly shine free. Nice active targeting blemish prone skin. I've really been liking this. Getting on to foundation wear and fragrance. This Prepsy skin, gorgeous leaf for makeup. It is such a nice texture because it does set down so quick. It does help control how shiny you look throughout the day. Very beautiful primer base for makeup. I will have to say though, if you're like me and you have very dry under eyes, make sure you moisturize your under eye area before this, just to make sure that that is not dry. Just because I have situations where if I use retinoids a lot and my skin kind of gets a little bit more dry, my under eye area just looks a lot more, like the fine lines are a lot more accentuated if I don't adequately moisturize under a sunscreen like this. And then fragrance, as I mentioned, is this is fragrance free. Does it have a smell though? It smells like alcohol. It smells like, if you know the other Garnier Super UV sunscreen, I'll have it here on screen, same smell. So all that said, the Garnier Ombre Solaire Super UV Niacinamide Anti-Imperfections, Imperfections, Day Fluid SPF 50 Plus, 
is a banger. This is one of my favorite sunscreens. It's only like a few weeks into the year, but one of my favorite sunscreens already. This is, it feels like Garnier slash L'Oreal's answer to the Eusterin oil control. If this was more heavy duty water resistant, it would be a, a banger home run. It's not though, so that's the one thing to consider, but it's a gorgeous texture to reapply, so I'm not concerned. It's affordable, really, really lightweight, melts in, keeps you fairly shine free for a while, really easy to reapply, no weird issues when you reapply, great base for makeup. This is a gorgeous sunscreen. Good job, Garnier. Love, love, love this texture. Love this formula. And again, it's brand new. So I don't know where you can get it as of right now while I'm filming this. I tried looking it up. It's like nowhere available online. I did buy this at Boots though. So do note that. But let me know down below in the comment section once you are able to get your hands on this, what your thoughts are of it. Do you agree with me? Disagree with me? What are your experiences? I always love to hear what you guys are loving or not loving. Also, if you have another sunscreen that you love for oily blemish prone skin, drop that in the comment section. I always love to hear, again, what you guys are loving. As always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know when I go live with more skincare, sunscreen, and beauty-related content on my channel. Give the video a thumbs up, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye.